Well, we're back at the Nevada Northern, mm -hmm. this time to meet the world's most famous cat. Yes. The world's most famous cat, Dirt. Dirt. Dirt the cat. Aw, I and love Dirt. Dirt is such a good kitty. You he is. Your, your kitty. You yeah. You have to wash your hands afterwards. Not because he has germs or anything. He's just filthy. Right. But, <laughs> but what a lucky cat. He gets to play with trains all day. He I lives mean, the in real the, thing. And he knows his way around the shop. So he's actually going to be giving us the chef's tour of the kitchen. Oh, fun. We'll be touring the shop with Dirt, <laughs> Dirt the, cat. the Cat. So check this out. It should be funny. They say he has many stories. To yes, tell. he does. <laughs> check it out. So this is Dirt. Yes, isn't he cute? <laughs> oh, he's an adorable kitty. He's been living in the shop here his whole life. Uh, there was a feral cat living in the shop and she had kittens. And then there were kittens all over the shop. And then apparently mommy and all the kittens packed up and left. All except, of course, uh, uh, Dirt. <laughs> he has an adorable face. He's got eye goobers, but he's still adorable. And speaking of adorable, the shops here, I, I find them adorable anyway. Oh, they're fun. Look at this. But um, the townspeople of Ely were given this entire railroad by Kennecott well, hangs out over there in the about, oh, 1990, late 1980s. The railroad had been closed down in the 1960s, and they just locked the door. And then in, like, 1990, they unlocked the door, and, well, this is what they found in there. And so they call it the ghost train. And uh, now the train has a cat. <laughs> yes, he owns the place. He does own the place. He's so majestic. He loves the people coming around. You would think as a, a quote, feral cat, because he really isn't, but he's never been anybody's pet either. But uh, he's incredibly tolerant of people. He loves the attention. Yes. In fact, as soon as people come out, here comes dirt to get petted and fed and attention and paid. Over. And fussed <laughs> over. Yeah. yeah. He's actually really soft to pet, and he he loves to have his ears scratched. Yeah, you would think you'd get filthy touching him, but not really. No. Um, he's, he's he's dirty. He's but. dirty, but as far as more stained from playing on the locomotives. And, and that's, I guess, the surprising thing. People are shocked when they see him. They say, cats aren't dirty. Cats are clean. Well, this one's not. But he lives in the middle of grease and filth and dust and rust. And he's learned not to lick his paws to wash like normal cats do because he doesn't want to put that stuff in his mouth. Right. He's also becoming something of an international celebrity. Yes, people send him treats and things through the mail. He gets fan mail. He's got his own website. Yes. <laughs> he, he's, I don't think he's on Twitter just yet. He, he, ate, he ate the Twitter bird. <laughs> but people uh, come from all over, and when they're touring the shops, everybody has to get a selfie with dirt. Yes. Yeah. Right. Awesome, but it really is amazing how tolerant he is of all these people. In fact, he he eats it up. Of course, but he owns the shop. That's why. That's why. <laughs> this is his locomotive shop. I sort of imagine that he knows things about the shop and the trains and the equipment than anybody else. After all, he's lived his whole life here. I don't know that he's ever even ventured outside. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think he has. So, hey, Dirt, give us, give us the tour.
dirt isn't that fun it's so fun oh, i mean people come all over to see that cat he's literally becoming the world's most famous cat mm -hmm. there's a whole dirt fan club and yes. dirt paraphernalia if you go to their website you can buy your dirt shirt <laughs> and your dirt buttons and your dirt man yes. you know magnets for your refrigerator and that's awesome he's got his own own thing yes yes and he knows it yes yes he just he sits there in the shops like he's ruling the roost yes he is and he is because that's his shop and those yes. are his locomotives and his people and his people yes. they work for him and that's he knows right. it yes very very important yeah. well if you haven't been over to the channel do pop on over to the channel and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe it sort of helps us out but it'll help you out because then you can be notified whenever we mm -hmm. upload a show or if we're right. gonna go talk to dirt again or oh, whatever and you just never know because stuff yes. stuff pops up and that's what it does and that's that's why you want to be a that. subscriber so that <laughs> you get informed of, of stuff right whenever we're out screwing around doing stuff mm -hmm. and the easy way to get to the channel and become a subscriber is with the blue button are we ready for the blue button zoink right over there the blue button mm -hmm. well we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet and we hope you didn't find it boring we will see you here on tuesday when we show you some collectible caca yes <laughs> bye-bye <laughs>